Notice how Moses replied, why do you quarrel with me? Why do you put the Lord to the test at the end of verse 2? He makes it clear to God's people that their quarrel is not with him, but with God himself. Moses is simply God's servant, and he is there to do God's bidding. As we try to understand the gravity of the situation that they find themselves in at Rephidim, I need to ask, did you see the question at the end of verse 7? It's a remarkably rebellious question. It's not a groan. It's not a lament. It's not like the psalmist would say, how long, O Lord? Rather, it's a test. Is Yahweh the covenant-keeping God among us or not? In other words, if you're with us, God, prove it. How many times have we done this ourselves? Okay, God, prove yourself. Do it. Miracles now. Magic now. Supernatural occurrences right now. Healings now. Make me better now. Take this away right now. Do it. Aren't you real, God? It's the same sort of attitude that the Israelites had. Think about it. His presence was obviously with them, manifested as a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. He daily led them, and he had brought them to camp at Rephidim. There it was. They could see the pillar of cloud or of fire. And yet they have the audacity to say, are you here? Do you care? Are you listening? After all that he had done for them, all of the miracles, all of the plagues that led to their deliverance, after the bitter water made sweet at Mara, the rest at the oasis of Elam, the quail, and the manna sent from heaven, they still say, we don't know about this God. Is he even here?